What is going on, everybody? It is Craig. <laughs> and I'm back with movie number 64 for 2024. Admittedly, this was supposed to be 66, as I have two other ones to film. But after I just finished watching this, it's fresh. I'm doing this at 64. I'm not going to lie and do a mass film, a little quarter mass sequence. Don't watch Mousetrap. Jesus, what the... Mousetrap, listen, I know you see the preview, and some people out of it anyway. I kind of dig a cheesy slasher, mass slasher. That's what the preview made it look like. And yes, I'm full on spoiling this, so if you don't want it spoiled, trust me, I'm saving you. It, one, not a, not really a true slasher. Like, remember Jason Part 8, when he was like teleporting around in the room in the discotheque? This guy did that, but like on steroids. Well, unless you shine the flashlight on him. But he could somehow turn out lights magically too. So you think he's caught, then he's not caught. And then he pops up behind you and he chops off your head. Like, there weren't even great kills in the movie. Like, I, there was nothing of note. The kill itself was, you, you got the idea it was a haunted mask somehow. Or a haunted projecting that... But they never gave any information. They just showed a guy alone in a room in a mask listening to a voice. And the next thing, you know, the, that, the guy who we think that was him, not that we really paid too much attention to him at the time, like, is going around killing people. And somehow this one girl knows everything that happened, even though she wasn't there, she was cut up somewhere else. But they told her in the ambulance, but they couldn't tell the cops. So now they're blaming the girl, but why are you even interrogating her? She wasn't there. That would be all hearsay. You talk to the other people, like... It, did, it also didn't help that one of the detectives, I swear I know from a movie, and I look through IMDb, and no, nothing pops out, which meant maybe it's a twin brother somewhere. Maybe it's one of those deals. I know that's happened before. You have the, uh, you, you know, you do have the Londons. You have, also have the other one, the guy who's, who's married to Eva Lawrence, the Lawrence brother. So I guess that happened. I'm, I'm off track. Don't see them. Don't watch. It it's tricks you. It's like It looks like it could just be that. Kind of like with Slash, you got the sad sack kid who is like in love with the girl, Clary. But guess what? Here's the twist. She's in love with him too. So yay, he's going to get a chance to ask her out. But she gets killed. Um, but here's the trick. Here's the thing. And as I'm talking to you, I have IMD, oh, IMDB up in the background. Because I need to confirm this before I, keep, I say it. Yes. In the movie, I am 99.8% sure, so a little margin of error, that when the goth girl was telling her tale, like... Reference Marcus after what happened, like they made it sound like he was dead and he didn't die. So maybe they would just make it sound that way intentionally. So him surviving was like, Oh my god, I can't believe he survived. But here's the thing who the fuck cares about him as a character? No one, my, my sister said this as uh, she's watching, and she's not a huge horror person, but she bears with him because of me. And my friend is watching it, and it's like nobody's likable in this movie. And my best argument was, Well, there's two people that haven't been unlikable yet. Like, you know what I mean? That was the big argument. Because even the sad sack guy, like, at some point, you know, deal with it. Yeah, he could teleport. The Mickey killer could teleport. Then why is he ever chasing people and letting them get away? If you can physically teleport, you're not going to do that. Like, I don't, I don't get it. And then they randomly, but he could go outside. But then also, if you think you're trapped inside of him, you got a baseball bat. Somehow, a metal baseball bat for one of the games, but it's a kid's game. It wasn't on like a wire connected, and it was a real bat. Why not break the window? Don't tell me it's bulletproof glass or bullet-resistant glass, you know, at a, at a fun zone type place. I don't know. I, I'm not going to see the, the other one they're doing off this, just Steamboat, whatever it is. I'm sure it'll probably be the same ilk. At least I think that'd be more of a slasher than teleporting. Really? But here's here's the here's the worst part of the movie, and here's the thing that made me not put this to number sixty six in order. So putting this at sixty four is the the girl who you've kind of won that has been unlikable, who you liked a little bit, I guess. Like she got beheaded by him, teleporting behind her, with three other people left surviving in the area, and he let them live. Including the Marcus kid who they alluded to, we made this out and die. Like, why let three people live? No one was likable who left. And that's too many people to be left alive. The fourth one, if you got the girl who had an ankle sliced open laser tag. I, no, no, I just don't see it. I, I hate shitting on movies. I don't make movies. So any movie they do, that's a hundred times better than anything I could do. But 
the fact that they, not only were they, hey, you know, let's go with the Mickey Mouse concept. No, man, I want to make it different. You know, now listen, we've had killers who can kind of teleport like Shaka, like through electric, t- electric wires, which is cool. You got to make it work. At least make it make sense somehow. Like, don't, just don't. M- Mickey, I looked on IMDb and I saw like it's two and a half out of ten. <laughs> I don't think it deserves that. Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, uh, I'm gonna go with a two, two out of ten. Usually I would go higher because it's a low budget film, but no, you, you can't insult someone's intelligence. Anyway, folks, as you know, there's two more, two more I'm gonna film today. So the you will see this on Monday. The other two the next day, and um, well, neither of the other two are great, but not as bad as this.